uh, one more guest joining us, uh, and then we'll break for everyone to uh, fill up their beers before we have our final talk today. Uh, Aaron uh, Ogilvy from Double Shift Brewing, come on up. Same questions, my friend. Talk to us about Double Shift. Uh, I'm starting Double Shift Brewing Company. Uh, we're at uh, eight, uh, 18th and Oak in the crossroads. Uh, if you know where Border Brewing Company is, we're right next door to that. Um, we're five barrels, uh, and we have a small tap room, seats about 80 people, and uh, we'll be opening July 11th. So, wow. yep. so, so, um, you know, how how did you guys go through the process of raising money and and uh, you know getting started? What was your approach? Uh, well, I uh, approached my parents about it probably two years ago. I mainly asked my dad for advice writing the business plan, and uh, I'm not a business guy. And he, he was like, well, why don't we just make this a family thing? So I said, all right. Uh, he got some people together he thought would be interested. Uh, I brewed some beer. They tried it. They were in. It took one night to raise all the money we needed. So that was probably the easiest process, <laughs> which was shocking. But yeah. Wow. So how much did you put in the business, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, we are right at about 350000 Okay, So a little bit smaller operation. Yep. What's, what's the focus going to be uh, you know, here in Kansas City? It seems very local. Are you going to focus on the mm -hmm. tap room? Yeah, we're uh, mainly focusing on tap room sales for probably the first year or so. We want to get our processes down, make sure uh, we uh, like our quality control for the long term, uh, make sure we have enough beer to supply our tap room, and uh, possible distributor in the future uh, uh, and we're spending a lot of money on our tap room so I want to make sure people actually come there and, and what's gonna set double shift apart from some of the other brewers in town or um, you know e even some of the breweries that are from out of state you know selling their products here right uh, I think setting apart is a hard thing to do especially in Kansas City because you have a place like Boulevard that does a lot of things really well uh, center block does a lot of things really well and we're somewhat similar in our view of taproom centric beer um, my goal uh, is to brew a beer that new craft beer drinkers can be introduced to and enjoy it while I would say veteran craft beer drinkers uh, would still say it's a solid beer uh, something s original uh, and still drinkable so more more approachable beers uh, yeah exactly yeah very cool. And um, I guess in terms of the branding and uh, just sort of the image that you guys are putting out there, talk to us a little bit about um, how you came up with Double Shift and, and what your story is. You know, what are you telling customers right. when they come by the tap right. room? Uh, well, the name Double Shift uh, wasn't the original name for the brewery. Uh, so, so one of the investors, one of my investors uh, suggested it to me. I work full time uh, for a fire department here in Kansas City. Uh, still do that still planning to do that for a while at least and uh, so that's kind of where that name came from uh, and as far as marketing um, we don't really have a marketing team per se uh, we do a lot of social media stuff um, that's about it right now we seem to be getting a lot of feedback from that um, it's easy cheap and so yeah that's that's basically our plan um, as far as other things like uh, when we originally started, we weren't planning to spend money to create beer logos. Uh, I started working with Bandwagon Merchandise to do our our brand logo. Uh, I like their stuff a lot, so we decided to go forward with that. We did uh, logos for each beer, which I think turned out really well, and I think it, it helps. A, it helped when we were kind of in that nothing was really happening stage to push out some logos every now and then for people to get excited about. Um, and it, I think it'll help. It's a little uh, name recognition also. How, how long has this process been uh, starting up? Uh, I probably started two years ago. We incorporated it 18 months ago. Okay. So what's your view on Kansas City? Um, I mean, you, you're about to launch here in a few weeks. Um, you know, this is the first time that you're going to be actually selling a product here um, and, and you know, sort of going head-to-head -head with some of the other breweries yeah. now. What, what's your view of the marketplace? Uh, I think uh, well, can, I think Kansas City is a mainly a beer town. Uh, I think that's attributed to Boulevard, pretty much 100%. Uh, if Boulevard didn't start here, I don't think Kansas City would be nearly as uh, beer centric as it is now. Whenever people say, "What kind of beer will you be drinking?" they liken it to a Boulevard beer here. Uh, 
if you say I'm brewing a wide IPA, they're like, well, it's a hoppy wheat, right? So that's like 80 acre. Well, sort of, but sure, if you want to say that. Um, so I think uh, everyone said, I mean, obviously Boulevard's the king here. Uh, and I don't want to say you say head to head. Uh, that's not really how I view uh, breweries in general, especially in Kansas City. Uh, I've been, as a newbie, I've Several breweries have welcomed me in, showed me how they do their thing, uh, and it's a it's a great community here. I think. Yeah. There's there's been you know a number of startups that have launched here uh, in the last you know 12 to 18 months. I mean, mm -hmm. sort of the story around the country. Um, you know, y you said you you got a lot of help from your friends basically here. Yeah. Uh, what what was that like, and um, you know what what sorts of things did they you know impart on you right. as you were starting? Uh, well. Uh, Having a lot of investors that came from corporate backgrounds, uh, when I would say I'm going to go brew with so and so brewery, they would tell me that I was crazy and that they weren't actually going to let me see how they did their thing because why would anyone ever let another company come in and see how their product is made? Uh, it took a, a while to get used to that concept for a lot of people. Um, I just, uh, a lot of, one person said to me, uh, double your budget and triple your timeline, which is pretty much exactly right on. Uh, we expected to open in March, and then we expected to open next weekend, and now we're our solid date's July. So that's just how life goes, and yeah, we, yeah, I mean, our budget's inflated as we go, and that's just, you know, that's the business, I guess. Nice. So uh, I know you, you, you know, are just starting up, and um, you haven't even put a beer out, but you know, where do you see Double Shift brewing into the future? Um, you know, what's what's sort of your goal? What's your vision for the company? Uh, that's a good question. I don't really know if I have a real answer for that. Um, I want it to be something manageable, um, something that's Kansas City centric. Uh, people from here recognize the brand, uh, know the beers. Um, I don't have any rural plans to go more than a couple hundred miles outside of Kansas City at the very most. Um, I don't know. I don't. Well, I just we'll see where the market takes it. That's the plan. Gonna let the market dictate what, yeah. you, what you do, huh? Yeah. Awesome. Well, Aaron from Double Shift, round of applause. Good luck starting up Thank in you. July, my friend. Cheers. Thanks. So I, I see some empty glasses out there. Why don't we break for about five or ten minutes, uh, get a beer at the bar, and we'll come back here and hear from Simon Thorpe, the president of Duval Mortgat USA.